Hi Leo, welcome into a general weekly reading for us. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing out there. I want to begin this reading by saying a very happy Halloween to each and every strong Leo out there, uh, drawn to this reading uh, especially. But let's jump right into the Halloween Oracle, you know, tis the season, and uh, then we'll see where the reading takes us. We're beginning with the death card as well as the control card, okay? Uh, death and zombie in the control and uh, the eternal cycle begins here card. It feels as if this is a time where change is taking place. Um, you know, I know what significant shift and change I'm, gonna, I'm going to, excuse me, be going through. But what is it going to be for you individually? Um, whether you feel in control at certain points throughout the week or not, they're reminding you of how significant your um, control actually is. You know, you being in the driver's seat is the message coming through. But I feel as if there's a huge focus on your spirituality throughout the week. There's um, one, if not a couple, new connections of importance. I also sense that at least part of the week, there's a focus on you being a leader. And if you haven't already, do tune into my... Um, uh, excuse me, interesting that I said that because I feel it applies to me as well. The um, Money and Career uh, November reading that I posted for Leos, A True Leader was a very significant uh, card in that uh, specific read. Anyways, but um, they're highlighting the fact that part of the week is, uh, you know, going to be the beginning stages of uh, November. Um, but let's pull a couple more. We're moving on to the spider card. This came up in Aquarius's. You may have Aquarius in your chart like myself. If so, tune into that reading as well. But I do feel as if this week highlights the importance of a community, if not a couple. There's a sense of people looking at you with um, a sense of admiration, respect, honor. It feels like a week where people are seeing you growing before their very eyes um, into, uh, again, more of a leadership role. But uh, as well in regards to you growing into um, more of who you're meant to be in this lifetime. Um, as well, I want to say your good looks, your quality, bold, but comforting um, and enlightening kind of energy is part of this week. People are drawn to you. There's a sense of you throughout the week uh, being very um, magnetizing, if that was the right wording. Um, I'm hearing you're a magnet for success. It will be a week where money is coming in quite easily um, and success and opportunities otherwise are naturally flowing in and just appearing for you. There's also um, advancement coming into play. You're going to feel like um, weaving your web uh, like a spider as we look at the second part of this card because I feel the week... Uh, trickles on and you uh, succeed here and you gain uh, the courage and or the motivation, the hunger even, to accomplish something else in a similar sense or uh, even completely different for that matter. But um, it is a week where you're feeling like growing things from the ground up in a new situation for a lot or just getting comfortable in that situation or both. Uh, but either way, it feels like if you think about, you know, a spider building, uh, you know, creating their web piece by piece, moment by moment, accomplishment by accomplishment. You're getting things to a state of growth and progress. Um, and I feel it really is a week where how you've been changing within is reflecting outside of you, not just your appearance and your energy and, you know, whatnot. Even I want to say your um, hand gestures, your uh, what you're choosing to say or how you're wording it. Um, the way you're carrying yourself is what I'm getting specifically and how you're accomplishing and managing things within your Leo world. One more before we move on to the tarot. The cauldron card talking about synergy and healing. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of Leos drawn to the specific weekly read have healing energy like myself and people are appreciative of that. People are utilizing it whether they realize it in the moment, um, even after the fact or not. Uh, you know, they're using it to their advantage, if I didn't say that already. But the way you, at this point along your path, can easily, with the synergy part of the card, easily bond with certain types of energies, or just, yeah, I want to say all types of energies, if you so choose, or have to, it's quite impeccable. It's very impressive, and it's being put to use very strategically 
even when you don't really mean to fully or at all. There's a sense of you knowing your worth as well as what I'm getting. And they're showing me somebody like a random person um, with a crown on in spirit saying, this is a week where you're feeling worthy or feeling your value growing by the day. And other people are noticing this and maybe even pushing for it or adding to that process, if that makes sense. Um, and I feel as if there's going to be, for those who choose to put themselves, as I twitched a bit, to, uh, who, those of which who choose to put themselves out there in a vulnerable way online, in the public spotlight in that sense, paying off for you big time. I'm getting the word, the word viral for a select few, but either way, there's numbers uh, increasing, there's uh, eyes being peeled upon this Leo collective in person and at a distance. Let's move on. But at the bottom of the deck, we do have the future card. I feel there is a focus on what kind of a two of swords energy, what you don't see coming and as well, what you do see coming. And they're saying, remember, my friend, you don't have to have all the answers to move forward with the courage that we know lies within you naturally as a Leo. Um, for some, your Taurus placement or placements may come into play. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You may need to clear your throat, uh, given some of which have been uh, maybe dating well back, have been dealing with uh, throat chakra blockage. Um, and I feel that could have been affected by a negative energy or two in your life, whether that was a spirit and or somebody within your physical reality, or that once was and left that effect on you. You need to get your voice out there. The week reminds you of the true importance the power of this Leo collective voice. Um, I'm also getting the colors orange and blue are significant as well as the color brown um, and gray. Um, I'm, I would say purple is my favorite color, but gray has to be number two for me. Blue used to be my favorite, but I just love the color gray. It's just mature it's simplistic but uh you know there's different shades of it i just like uh, the color gray excuse me anyways but i do feel as if um the spiritual meaning of a spider is as well significant for you if you so choose to look that up um it's a week of a lot of synchronicities i feel you know things like bugs insects uh animals uh angel numbers will come into play um shapes and symbols are as well significant. Look up the spiritual meaning of a horseshoe and I'm now seeing an infinity symbol. Um, moving on to the tattoo tarot, the nine of pentacles and the four of swords. There's sort of a, you know how when you get like a little bit squirmy but in sort of a, a giddy kind of way, that energy is coming to be, uh, you know, for you at certain points where you're just comfortable but you know giddy again and just a little bit squirmy um and very appreciative as well as what i'm getting the nine of pentacles and the four of swords i just heard the word support very clearly there is a ton of support for this leo collective and uh they're saying for you and you're needing to allow for the support to get you further um given you are an independent soul but you don't need to do it all alone I feel like you're going to as well be getting to know yourself better given you have been changing and they're reminding you you're protected within that process. You're protected in the midst of um, important and life-changing change. I feel you are going to want to better understand a situation you just or are throughout the week stepping into, but they're saying all this information doesn't need to be acquired throughout this week period. It's just one powerful week. Allow for all the information to be acquired to flow in for you. Um, you know, this clarity, if you will, um, you know, down the line when it's meant to. Anyways, um, the Empress card coming out because I wouldn't be surprised again if someone drawn to the reading uh, or some are giving birth to something new, but it feels like you may be gifted um, an idea or two a creative one maybe or just at least a lucrative one um that will benefit you past this week down the line what else do we have um you're i feel like we're shifting from this energy 
maybe even um, about halfway through the week or uh, later on in the week, about two thirds after the, uh, excuse me, afterwards. Um, I feel like it's a situation that messes with you or that makes you nervous, that makes you question things. You maybe feel the need to avoid, to dodge. You know, for me, it's me shifting from this apartment to a new one. But I feel uh, by the end of the week, you know, within that last chunk, you're feeling a lot less stress. Busy, I feel, for the majority, but you're feeling a lot less stressed. And they're reminding you that when you trust spirit selectively and your intuition first and foremost, and you make those important changes and you embrace the shift uh, in the moment or just in general, those shifts w along your path, things start to work out. Wow, as the cats just uh, adjust my energy. Anyways, um, the Ten of Pentacles, it's a week that reminds you that you're meant to be rich, for some of which ones the reading a millionaire, if not a multimillionaire. Um, you determine your fate is what I'm getting. You determine your fate as a manifester. Uh, I'm putting this right in the middle of the four cards because they're all relating. They're all connecting to the fact that you do have a wealthy future ahead and they're not just labeling that as a financial, uh, financially comfortable plus some future, but wealth and riches being, you know, labeled and applicable for different aspects of life otherwise, right? Being rich in support, rich in guidance, being rich in physical items, right? The material um, aspects of life, being rich in connections um, and experiences and uh, opportunities all the meanwhile. And they're saying, uh, eat it up, my friend, because um, a lot of which are about to Okay, hit the jackpot is what I'm hearing, but that doesn't just have to be, you know, winning the lottery or something of the sort, but hitting the jackpot in the sense of your life uh, coming into play and having all these wish fulfillments. And it's like, you're going to feel like you're hitting the jackpot um, as your life again falls into place. The Knight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, people are noticing you as you shift on forward and you uh, migrate and you um, accomplish and multitask uh it like a master okay in such a passionate way or passionate ways i should say people are paying attention my friend you're going to feel as if something at a certain point or certain points throughout the week is shaking you in a core kind of way it's a spiritual being who really uh is just nasty in nature it's a minor part or minor parts of your week uh karma even exists in that realm don't forget that but um, the Queen of Pentacles, they're saying in a grounded way, shift on forward with money in the mind, but remembering that that's not everything because I feel like, um, you know, like myself a lot of the time and it's partially because that's how I was raised. You know, I was, uh, I think about money a lot, right? Um, I was raised to prioritize making money and making sure that I'm, you know, you know, not without and I can afford, you know, what I need to and even what I want to. Um, and to stay on top of things. But um, regardless of the case for you, they're saying remember is not everything. They're really showing this as kind of a, a Greek golden um, headband, is it? Or not a crown, whatever. Anyways, uh, again, there's this sort of royalty honoring sort of energy coming about for you. Um, I really feel like as I just showed somebody bowing down to another person, uh, I'm just giving the messages that are coming through. All right. Uh, again, going back to this three of pentacles. Um, they're also pushing you to not second guess yourself when you make a, a leadership decision, uh, a judgment call, or you even decide to switch something up in your life or uh, put something in a certain place. You're going to be feeling things very accurately throughout the week. And so they're saying, trust it wholeheartedly and just shift on forward and do it, right? Or say it, make it happen. This is a life-changing, shifting kind of week for you where um, endings and new beginnings are taking a highlight. Your rich future is uh, coming to mind and being worked towards. They're saying you are in the driver's seat as you weave your web. Wow, beautiful reading. So I hope it was truly helpful. I'm of course sending you a ton of love and light.